All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Office. Not a whole lot of freedom going on behind me right now. We've been pretty busy. We just got back from out of town with the guys out there at uh, the Sawmill, the Gathering. Palmetto State Army put on a hell of an event, man. It was a lot of fun. We ran into a bunch of really cool guys out there, saw some really cool events. And if you watched the channel the last couple of days, I got myself a new knife. So anyway, really looking forward to uh, getting the old one back so I don't ever have to cut anything with this one. I know that's not what knives are made for, but that's it. Uh, what do we got coming up? We've got a uh, Trigicon review coming up. I've got the 510C from Holosun. I've got the Psionics Aurora Black and also a really cool lineup with the guys over there at Primary Arms. And we're getting back into it, man. We're going to start shooting this week. We're going to start prepping up for the uh, Talladega 2-Gun. And I've met a lot of cool guys out there and got a lot of really good ideas on how to better set up a PCC. So we may make some changes. We may not. I think I may just submit what I got is the uh, final competition rifle or a pistol caliber carbine, uh, the way it is. Okay, so what's the, this video about? We're talking about ghost guns. Uh, David, David, thank you so much for sending that email out. I was talking about this thing this morning. And basically what it is, is the police uncover an illegal ghost gun manufacturing operation in Detroit. Two people are in custody. The people I was talking to this morning, the, the, the problem is... We love our freedom. We love our guns. We love everything. But there are a few individuals who will ruin that for us. And I hope you guys will understand. I'm all about shell not and fringe. But the problem is you got two guys who went out and ordered a ton of those 80% uh, build kits. And they turned their house into a manufacturing facility. And they're basically members of a gang, from according to the article. And they were manufacturing these things and selling them on the market uh, illegally. And right now, here's the whole thing. Uh, it's illegal to do what they were doing. So everybody's going to be like, well, they were, they were doing the ghost gun things. And if they didn't have the ghost guns, they wouldn't be able to do that. Well, guys, that's the problem. People like the liberals that we always refer to do not understand that that activity that they were performing is already illegal. Okay, you cannot manufacture a gun for sale unless you're a licensed FFL. All right, let's talk about this. Detroit police are hailing their new shot spotter technology for helping investigators bust an illegal gun manufacturing operation. The shot spotter, what that is, is, a, is technology that's going in all over the place. It basically uh, triangulates a sound that it initiates with a big pop or pow or whatever or gunshot. And they can zero in on those areas based off of the sound and uh, can find out exactly where the shot was going. Now, these jackasses were test firing these uh, pistols, I guess they were doing, uh, by in their backyard. All right, Police Chief James Craig says that within 24 hours of installing the tech, officers were led to a home where alleged gang members were making guns and test firing in a residential neighborhood. Now, this is off of a uh, website, WWJ950 news radio outstanding uh we always want to give credit where credit is due okay uh executing a search warrant craig said members of the ninth precinct special ops and gang enforcement seized a long gun multiple handguns all kinds of weapons making components and several hundreds of rounds of assorted ammunition hundreds of rounds hundreds of rounds what exactly does that mean well anyway I've seen pictures, Craig told reporters, and the setup inside this private single-family residence, to, to me, resembled a very small gun manufacturing operation. Hey, you know, if you can make money at it, it's probably not a bad idea. But it is illegal, guys. You can't take these P polymer 80s, the P80s, the 80% lowers, or the frames, and build guns and turn around and sell them. I said, no, no. <laughs> Craig said officers also recovered a drill press and the reason for the drill press is to manufacture pistols and what we now know as ghost guns. All right, so here's my argument today. Let me know what your thoughts are down below because this is a specific question I have for you guys. Um, the ghost guns, the, the we law-abiding citizens, I'm all about it, man. We can have as many guns as we want. I don't care if they got serial numbers or what, okay? They might not be legal in where you live, but whatever. Uh, but when you have jackasses like this who are out there breaking the law, to me, that makes us all look bad, okay? And it gives 
the politicians ammunition to go after our industry. And it's our industry. It's your industry. It's our 2A together. I always often, I'm often missed by the number of people who want to sit there and uh, beat up on their fellow gun people. Uh, two men, whom Craig's described as active gang members, were arrested at the scene. The suspects are both 25 year old, and one of them is believed to have been involved in a recent shooting. Well, it's no surprise there. As for the tech used, uh, the Department of Police Department late last year received approval for a $1.5 million contract for the use of the sound sensor system called Shot Spotter. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I live in a, 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 a city. I live in a city, and on occasion, we can hear shots going off. My wife is like, did you hear those shots? I'm like, yeah, that's nine millimeter. I think it's probably about a mile away, maybe. Probably about, no, probably about a half mile. <laughs> a lot of guys just riding down the road shooting guns out the windows. In this case, Craig officer found evidence that 75 or more shots were fired on that property. And I'm, I'm assuming if it's Detroit proper, they are in the city, probably right there off of Woodward Avenue. The chief said the incident demonstrates the growing problem of illegal firearms in Detroit. So there's a whole thing where we have the non-serial numbers P80s. They're, they in themselves are not illegal. You can own them for yourself, but you can't sell and trade or do whatever. So anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Knuckleheads, gangbangers are making us look bad, and they are killing the industry. Maybe time for us to start policing our own, or them at least. So that being said, let me, just, let me know what your thoughts are down below. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. And man, we had a great time out there this weekend. It was a lot of fun. We're going to start writing for one of the uh, new big uh, online publications. It's going to be fun. Anyway, y'all be good. Uh, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who fight for our constitutional rights as it was written by our founding father. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to have already done so. And I want a big shout out to the new guys on the Patreon account. Thank you so much for joining the party. And uh, hopefully I will make it worth your while. It's good to 32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.